morning, everyone, and welcome to IT Mastermind 2013. Organized by the Computer Society of Sri Lanka and ESOFT as their strategic partners, we have gathered now over 2,000 students who took part in this national level quiz competition. We crunched it down to only 108 students who will be joining us from all over Sri Lanka, from international and national schools to take part in this educational journey. We are going to find out who is going to become the next IT Mastermind 2013. Let's meet the contestants of the ninth preliminary program. We have contestant number one, Mithusha Sri Ramachandran from Vincent Girls High School, Batiklo. And we have contestant number two, Ravindu Pereira from Rajasinga Central College, Hanwala. Contestant number three, we have Ruan Darshana Wickramasinghe of Yapahua Maha Vidyalaya. We have three more contestants. Contestant number four, we have Namik Nisa here from Al Hamisuru National School, Beruala. Contestant number five, we've got uh, Tuji Mayuran from Shivananda Vidyalaya National School, Batiklo. And contestant number six, Sitara Rathnayaka of Pushpadana Girls College, Candy. Now let's meet our two judges. We've got Dumindu Pahalavatta from eSoft. He's the manager of the Candy Branch. And as well as Mahesh Pereira, who is the president of the Computer Society of Sri Lanka. And now I'm going to turn it over to our quiz master, Mr. Faisal Bonzo. Thank you very much, Anjani. A very good evening and welcome to the ninth preliminary round program where six contestants representing schools from all over Sri Lanka will be participating. Well, they will all face four rounds of competition and here the winner and the runner-up will proceed on to the secondary rounds. Each round will be judged and of course points will be allocated and the decision of the judges will be final. Let's start off with round one. Now in round one, we will be posing a multiple choice question to each individual student where they will earn 10 points for a correct answer. Meanwhile, the other contestants can also register their answers via their terminals and earn three points for each correct answer. And of course, you lose two points for each incorrect answer. So good luck to the six of you. Here we go with questions for round one. And this is your question. That's to Mitusha. Sri Ramachandran of Vincent Girls High School, Batiklo. What does VNC stand for? Is it Virtual Network Campus, Virtual Network Computer, Virtual Node Connection, or Virtual Network Computing? B. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is Virtual Network Computing. Here's your question, contestant number two. That's uh, Ravindu Pereira of Rajasinghe Central College, Hungwala. Which of the following is not an example of CMS? Is it WordPress? Is it Joomla, Drupal or Eclipse? Answer B. Pardon? B. No, the answer is uh, incorrect. The answer is D, Eclipse. Here's your question, contestant number three, Ruan Darshina Vikramasinghe of Yapahua Mahavidyalaya. Winchester Drive is also called hard disk drive, floppy disk drive, jazz disk drive, or is it zip disk drive? Jazz disk, jazz disk drive? <coughs> no, the answer is incorrect. The answer is A, hard disk drive. Here's your question now, contestant number four. In relation to storage, what does SSD stand for? Is it solid speed drive? Is it single speed drive? Single system drive? Or is it solid state drive? Answer A. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is D, solid state drive. Here's your question, contestant number five. Which of the following organizations in Sri Lanka manages LK domain? Is it A, Sri Lanka Telecom? Is it B, University of Columb Moratua? Is it B, University of Moratua? Is it C, ICTA? Or is it D, Cert Lanka? University of Moratua. Yes, the answer is correct, University of Moratua. 
And here's your question, contestant number six. Rather, contestant number six, this is your question. What is the image file format used in early mobile phones? Is it WBMP? Is it TIFF? Is it GIF? Or is it JPEG? B? B? No, the answer is uh, incorrect. The answer is A, WBMP. And with that, we end questions for round one. Let's see who is in the lead after round one. We now have the results of round number one. Coming in at third place, we have with a total of three points, contestant number five, Tuji Mayuran of Shivananda Vidyale National School, Batikla. Coming in at second place with a total of four points, we have contestant number three, Ruan Darshana Wickramasinghe of Yapahua Maha Vidyalaya. And coming in at first with a total of six points, we have contestant number four, Namik Nisa here of Al Himusra National School, Beruala. <laughs> and back to our quiz master, Faisal Bonzo. Thank you very much. As we move on to questions for round two, now in round two, we will be posing a question based on an image to each individual student, where they will earn 10 points for a correct answer. Now, the others, you can also use the buzzer if you know the answer. And if the particular student does not give the correct answer, the fastest one out of you will have the chance to answer. You can earn five points for a correct answer, but be careful, you may lose two points for an incorrect answer. So on with the questions for round two. And here's your question, contestant number one. What is the networking or communications technology shown in this image? Optical technology. Optical technology. No. Number six, you seem to know the answer. Fiber optics. Right. If the judges say to take, the, uh, take it as the answer. Fiber optic cable. Let's have a round of applause. Here's your question, contestant number two. What is the networking or communications technology shown in the image you see? Twisted wire pair. Twisted wire pair. No. Number six again, you seem to know the answer. Coaxial. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is UTP, unshielded twisted pair cable. Here's your question now, contestant number three. What is the networking or communications technology that you see in the image known as? Coaxial cable? Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question now, contestant number four. What is the type of processor that is shown here known as? Intel socket type. Slot type. Slot type processor. No, nobody seems to know the answer. The answer is Intel Atom processor. Here's your question now, contestant number five. What is the type of network topology shown here, known as? Mesh topology. Yes, they take it as the correct answer, mesh network. And uh, number six, this is your question. What is the type of network topology shown here? Tree. One. Tree. No. Bus. Number two. Number two seems to know the answer. Mm. Mesh. Mesh. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is hybrid network. And with those questions, we end round two, and I'm sure we'll have a change depending on their performance. Let's have a look. and Let's find out who is in the lead now. Here's the viewer's quiz for today's program.
Let's have a look at the results from round two. Thank you, judges. Okay, and our three finalists are contestant number four with six points, Namik Nisa here of Al Himusara National School, Beruala. And coming in with a total of 13 points, we have contestant number five, Tuji Mayuran of Shivananda Vidyale National School, Batiklo. And coming in at first for round two, we have our contestant with a total of 14 points, contestant number three, uh, Ruan Darshana Wickramasinghe of Yapahua Maha Vidyale, Kurnanga. Back to Mr. Bonzo for round three. Thank you very much. We move on to round three. Now in round three, we'll be posing a verbal question to each individual student where you will earn 10 points for a correct answer. Well, the others can use their buzzers as was done in round two. Here too, you can earn five points for a correct answer, but be careful as you may lose two points for an incorrect answer. So good luck. Here we go with questions for round three. And your question, contestant number one. What is the programming language mostly used for developing operating systems? VB. No. Java. No. Number two. C. Yes, the answer is correct. C or C++. <laughs> now, here's your question, contestant number two. How many layers are there in the TCP IP network model? Four. Yes, the answer is correct. Four layers. Here's your question for test number three. What is the name of the device introduced by Microsoft as a competitor to the tablet computer? Tablet PC? No. Well, no one seems to know the answer. The answer is the Microsoft Surface. Here's your question now, contestant number four. What is the biometric device used to scan the characteristic pattern in the eye, known as? Plotter. Plotter. No. Well, nobody knows the answer. It's the iris scanner. Here's your question now, contestant number five. What is the fixed address that uniquely identifies a device in a network? No one seems to know the answer. The answer is the MAC address media access control. And here's your question, contestant number six. How many hexadecimal digits are there in a MAC address? Well, no one seems to know the answer. It's 12 in total, six two-digit numbers. And with that, we end all questions for round three. Here is the viewer's quiz for today's program. Okay, and it's getting a little more exciting now with the contestants of round three. Let's see the top three. Coming in at third place, we have a um, total of 10 points. Contestant number two, Ravinda, Ravindu Pereira of Hanwella Rajasinghe Central College, Hanwella. And coming in second, we have, with a total of 13 points, contestant number five, Tuji Mayuran of Shivananda Vidyale from Batiklo. And in the lead so far, we have contestant number three with a total of 14 points, Ruan Darshana Wickramasinghe of Yapahua Maha Vidyalaya. <laughs> and Mr. Bonzo, let's take it on for the fourth round. Thank you very much, Anjali. Well, we've come to the final round. This is round four. We'll be using the same style as was done in round three. 
But of course, the questions will be a little tougher as this is the final round and it could be the decider. Others, please be ready with your buzzers. The points allocation will be the same as in round three. So without further ado, let's move on to the questions for round four, the final round. Here's your question, contestant number one. What company introduced the compact disc? Microsoft. No. Intel. No. Number two. IBM. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is Philips. Here's your question now, contestant number two. This component of expert systems uses stored knowledge for problem solving. Name this component. Processor? No. And nobody seems to know the answer. It's inference engine. Here's your question now, contestant number three. What is the technology used by Intel to reduce or increase processor speed based on the requirement? No one else. Microchips? No. Transistor? No. Well, nobody seems to know the answer. It's the Intel speed step. Here's your question now, contestant number four. What is the name of the technology that has replaced AGP slot? Processor? No. CPU? Pardon? CPU? No. Contestant number one. VGA? Well, that's the incorrect answer. The answer is PCI Express. Well, here's your question now, contestant number five. What is the name of the portable music player that Microsoft recently discontinued? Nobody seems to know the answer. It's the Zune. Here's your question, contestant number six. What is the technology from Microsoft that is a competitor to Flash? Silverlight? Yes, the answer is correct. Silverlight. And with that, we end all the questions for today's preliminary round program. Let's find out who is the winner and the runner-up and who qualifies to go into the secondary round. I now have the results of today's competition. But before I call upon our winners, I would first like to call upon two gentlemen. We have Mr. Merrill Nonis of CSSL. As well as Mr. Dasun Sirmewan of ESOF. I would now like to call upon our uh, contestant who is in the third place for this round. We have contestant number six with 11 points, Sitara Rathnayaka of Pushpadana Girls College Candy. She'll receive a certificate and a voucher. And in second place, we have Contestant number five with 13 points, Thuji Mayuran of Shivananda Vidyale National School, Batikla. And today's winner, we have contestant number three with 14 points, Ruan Darshana Wickramasinghe of Yapahu Maha Vidyale. And he'll receive a certificate and a valuable prize. Great job. Okay, so congratulations to our two winners who will get the chance to go on and progress to the secondary rounds and will have the chance of becoming the next IT Mastermind 2013. And that will be the end of today's show. Uh, make sure you tune back again next week, same time, same place on ITN. And we'll have another round of very exciting competitions. Bye for now.